I'm exhausted. I'm going to bed. Can't even function. Alrighty, let's try this again. My YouTube channel if you're new here my name is Zara Zolkos and welcome to my comp prep series this is gonna be a really exciting series and one I know you all will be excited for so I ask you to join me on this adventure on this journey towards my first IFBB competition so just a bit of a background I am officially in prep for my IFBB show which I will be competing in the Queensland national qualifier which is in October and then I'll also be competing in nationals which is in November which is down in Melbourne which is really really exciting I have been prepping for almost 14 weeks now and I am 12 weeks out on Saturday this isn't a new thing this isn't I'm jumping on prep now I've been at this for a while and I'm really excited to just see where the rest of the journey takes us and I want to take you with me and show you everything. The reason I haven't shown so far is because I was really worried about what happened last time with my other comp prep series when I wasn't ready. I was really worried that that was going to happen again and I said to myself I'm going to keep this prep on the down low. I really pr give it, prove to myself that I can get through it and all this kind of stuff but since I have already gotten through 14 weeks I know that there is no backing out now. I'm so I'm all in. I'm so like I've never been so all in on anything in my life and I'm all in on this comp prep and I'm ready to give it my all and I'm ready to take you guys along the journey as well because this is something I've always wanted to do is compete and you know share content and document the journey and that's why I've been doing these weekly vlogs and everything because I love to document my journey and whether I have one viewer or a hundred thousand you know as long like you know it gives me something to look back on and something to look back on the journey and the ups the downs the struggles the everything so before I knew really got into competing I when I found out about what it was I would watch these youtubers have their prep series and I literally watched them so much and I'm like that's what I want to do like you know when I grow up like that's what I want to do so I was like why am I holding back from sharing my prep sharing this prep series it's what I want to do it's what I want to continue to show and I'm just really excited for this series it's gonna be super exciting and I know you guys are excited as well just want to kind of go through a few things so obviously number one what is the goal out of competing the goal is to win the goal should always be to win you don't compete for last place I mean if you compete for the experience you do you but I'm in it to win it and yeah but I have been all in and I'm ready to make this prep my bitch let me talk you through the journey so far so i'm gonna put on the screen i'm gonna put it right here check in video from when i started prep so i started prep back in april and i started at 62.9 kilograms so this is my check-in here as you can see you know a bit more on the fluffy side you know i really ate i was eating quite a bit actually and just tr trying to train as hard as i can i'm not like super i'm not like fat chunky or anything but i am like a bit more on the fluffy aside for myself so 62.9 kilos is what I started at now I'm gonna put my check-in from last week and then within the video I'm also gonna show my check-in that is gonna be from tomorrow but I'll show you last week's check-in last week I was 58.05 so this is my check-in from then now I'm also going to insert a video of what I'm looking like right now <laughs>
share was my prep weigh-in. So I've got a little table here, which I'm going to slap on the side here. I'm going to have to include the screenshot of week 14, which I don't have now because that'll be from tomorrow. The start of my prep was really fucking rough. Really, really rough. My body was not wanting to drop no matter what we did. It was refusing to drop body weight. Eventually, after a bit of a push, it started dropping around week four through to week seven at the end of the diet. Week seven was the week I went to Sydney and I was allowed that cheat meal, which you may have seen if you've been following me for a little bit. After that cheat meal, I had a two week diet break and then it was game on. We got back on the diet. And ever since we started the diet again from week nine, I have dropped every single week, which is really, really awesome. We're not too sure on the stage weight. We're thinking around 53. We're about just under five kilos away from that now. We'll get there, we'll get there. And I'm really excited to be able to take you guys on this journey i have so much content planned for you all i want to show you the ups i want to show you the downs i also just want to share with you the reality of comp prep um including and now this is something people may agree with may not agree with but i i'm gonna share what i'm doing to get to the stage a lot of people don't share their mac like their calories their macros their cardio and all for a very 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 smart reason and I, when I do share this kind of information, I will be putting disclaimers everywhere. The reason other people don't is because anyone can hop onto this video, see my physique, see the protocols I'm doing, and then go ahead and copy it for themselves. And in no way, shape, or form is comp prep healthy. I do want to just say that loud and clear, it is not healthy. It is something we do not sustain for the long term. After this comp prep, I will be gaining body fat and I will be focusing on reverse dieting and getting my macros back up there. But I do wanna be open in the sense that people don't, really don't know what goes into a prep. Those who can prep on 2000 plus calories are happy to scream it at the top of their lungs. And some people get the impression that that's what they're meant to be doing. When really a lot of people have to get very, very, very low calorie and very, very high cardio. And some people get into a comp prep not expecting that that's the case. I think it's just good to show that that's sometimes what we have to do to get into stage condition. When others are considering comp prep or any of that, they know what could potentially happen. It's all individualized, everybody is different, but yeah, I did wanna say I will be sharing that information, but I will be putting disclaimers around it. And I really stress to you that if you are looking for any advice around nutrition, training, any of that, get yourself a coach. Don't copy whatever is online. I really can't stress that enough. Get a coach, get a professional uh, to be able to help you out and guide you in the right direction. We are 12 weeks out from the Queensland National Qualifier and we are 16 weeks out from Nationals, which is so exciting. I really hope you guys come along with me for this journey. Please subscribe down below and put the post notifications on so you never miss an upload and you can we can go through this together. We can experience the whole thing together. I'm really excited to be able to share this with you guys. I haven't competed for like two years now, so I'm just so, so ready. I've never been so all in, so ready for anything in my entire life and it's just gonna be such an incredible, I'm just, ugh. I'm so excited, so follow along and I will chat to you guys later. So I'm just sitting here reviewing my workout footage, but I thought I would add in another clip just to kind of talk through the workout. So in this first clip, what I am doing is lying leg curl hip thrusts. I'm doing one and a quarter reps, and then I'm going to follow that by doing partial reps. So I'll be doing half reps till failure and then quarter reps till failure. Now these are a really good way to isolate the glutes and the glutes only. You can see that I've added two plates below my feet just to help with that range of motion to really get the full extension of the glutes and the full contraction. Um, I will be filming all of my workouts for this series so and I'll probably do a voiceover kind of video like thing here um, as I think it'd be really beneficial for you guys just to hear me talk through the workout. Here I have got abduction, so I can't remember exactly the range I was doing for this workout. Clearly I was busy on my phone, like what am I doing? Um, but it would have been probably between 10 to 15 reps. Um, normally I'd like to do this one before the lying leg curl, but it was taken. Um, this one you really just want to focus on squeezing the glutes at the top. Next we've got Smith Machine hip thrust. Now, doesn't matter if you do barbell or smith machine, but I do find that I am able to isolate my glutes more using a smith machine. I've also got a band around my knees and I'm also taking more of a wide stance. So with the lying leg curl hip thrust, I did more of a close stance. With the wide, um, smith machine hip thrust, I'm doing more of a wide stance just to target that outer glute a little bit more. Next, we've got straddle lifts. So I'm doing this literally with a kettlebell and standing on two rowing machines. The idea is to target 
all areas of the legs. I know a lot of people do this differently. Some do it where it's more of like a squat. Some do it where it's more of like an RDL. I kind of do the one where it's more like a squat. I feel it in my glutes a little bit more. I'm really trying to target like that um, tie-in area um, as well as the glutes with this one as well. Um, so try and slow it down, going down and then snapping it back up, really squeezing the glutes at the top as well always fixing that my muscle connection next we've got leg extension so going i like to go a bit heavier with these ones um and really just focus on contracting um the quads of course it's going to work the quads um in terms of my training at the moment we're doing a lot of leg focus so even in my upper body days there's legs as well um focusing on everywhere we did focus on just the glutes for a while but now we're really trying to bring up the quads alongside which they have come a long way Next, I did um, V squat, narrow stance, tried to keep constant tension. This one I actually had 30 reps of, so that killed me. And the constant tension um, really does the trick. Um, but I only did two sets of this, so two sets of 30 reps. If you're really wanting a challenge, definitely give this one a go. You can even do it on a hack squat as well. Um, so as you can see, I was struggling. I was like, every here and there, I was taking a bit of a break, which I know, I should try and keep pushing but the burn is real um yeah so just keep watching that one again just pausing as we go through it's really important in bikini to also build the quads a lot of people stay away from it but you need that balance and that symmetry um next we've got leg press so again close stance constant tension to really focus on those quads i believe here i was doing 163 kilos for 20 reps i could probably try and bring the weight down a little bit further um, but as you can see the tension I'm not locking out I'm not pausing I'm just constantly keeping that tension on my quads and now I've got posing all right guys we're doing good we just finished our workout. First workout back in the gym. How exciting. I just want arms. They're getting there. They are. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Hey, I'm trying to go anywhere and I'm like fucking mask. I, I always forget I'm late, 5 40 in the morning. Way too early. It's cold. <laughs> It's currently 6.20 in the morning, I woke up at 5 to get this DEXA scan, but I've got the DEXA scan now, so I thought while I'm in my car, I will read through it. For a bit of background, if you saw the start of my last prep series that I didn't finish, I got a DEXA scan and that was probably the biggest I had ever been. Like, And anyway, I was like, okay, start a new prep series, let's go through it. And I'm going to go through, or I may have already gone through, I'm not sure where I'm going to put it in this video, my starting point of this prep because I'm halfway through my prep now. I am not just starting now, but I thought, start of the series, I'll get a DEXA scan just to see the result. I weighed in at 57.8 this morning at 164.2 centimeters. Oh, I'm shorter than I thought I was. Interesting. My total body fat percentage, the big number, is 19.3%. Not bad. I'm glad it's like under 20, which is good. On the way down, I mean, they're not going to get up the judges aren't gonna get up on stage and measure my body fat like they it's just based on how you look but it's just interesting to see and track data and see that everything i'm doing is working that's really exciting to see i'm excited to see how the rest of this goes i'll get another one in six weeks and we'll measure it then but i'm just procrastinating cardio now i've got my oxy shred so i'm gonna i'll probably finish this before i go in and then we'll go in and do cardio an hour on the step up pray for me that was so incredibly difficult. 
And the fact I have to get through two more of those this week kills me on the inside. What I think I might do is 30 minutes faster cardio, 30 minutes post-workout. So I feel like I'll be able to, because I was like leaning on the step at the entire time. Still trying to keep my heart rate where it needs to be, but I hate doing that. I know that, that's cheating the system. Sure, I'm thinking we're just doing... <sighs> Fuck me. 30 minutes fasted, 30 minutes post-workout because that was fucking hard. But we're on our way home now. Need to get fuel. I'm keen for my bowl of oats. I got new macro mic protein yesterday, so I'll be using that. Let's get home. I don't know how I'm gonna get through today. It'll be fine, we'll caffeinate up. It'll be good. Today is hard. Look at the pimple on my face too. My body is utterly exhausted. I'm doing so much cardio. Low food this week. It's like a final push before a diet break can't even function i just want to lie in bed and do nothing all day but unfortunately that's not an option we still gotta be an adult and work and someone asked me today like how i mean yesterday how i was mentally feeling with prep and i'm like mentally i'm okay like i'm not mentally exhausted or anything like i you know i'm fine that way physically fucked so i have a photo shoot this weekend and my skin's breaking out like crazy which is not ideal but we got a coffee and we're gonna make it through the day. Just got another low carb day tomorrow and then it's high day on Friday, so we can do it. Do it. <laughs> this is the reality. I'm alive, but I'm dead. How sick is my new Udi? This has made my soul happy. Tied in my little Udi. Perfect purchase for prep. I'm fucking exhausted. I'm going to bed, but I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. And of course I have a photo shoot and my skin decides to break out. I'm going to bed. It's 7 o'clock and I'm going to bed. everything for episode one of my bikini prep series i really hope you guys follow along please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it really helps comment down below some nice comments of course always be nice but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this series i'm really really excited for it as you can tell and there's gonna be one episode out every single week make sure to subscribe put the post notifications on so you never miss an upload and i'll see you in the next video bye <laughs> Don't jump, 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 don't jump